YouTube, we have a new signing, and oh boy, what a statement it is. 29-year-old England international Ross Barkley has joined Luton on believed to be a one-year contract with a possibility of two if he stays up. A free transfer from Nice, and wow, we're about to get into who he is. Ross started his youth career at Everton from 2005 and then passed out into Everton's main squad in 2010. He went on to play 150 caps for Everton and he scored 21 goals. During his earlier career within Everton, he did go out on loan to Sheffield Wednesday in the 2012 season. He played 13 times and scored four goals. And then in 2013, he went to Leeds on loan and only played four games. After finishing his one month loan spell with Leeds, he got put straight back into the Everton side where he got man of the match and scored his goal against Norwich in a 2-2 draw. He then went on to get several man of the matches against Arsenal and Swansea. While at his time at Everton, he made a real name for himself, which later earned himself a £15 million move to Chelsea. During Barkley's time at Chelsea, he made 58 appearances for them and scored five goals. He was also sent out on loan during the 2020 and 21 season to Aston Villa, where he played 24 times and three goals. His time at Chelsea come to an end in the 2022 season, where he left Chelsea by mutual consent. He then went on to play for Nice in Ligue 1 in France, where he featured 27 times, scoring four goals and four fantastic goals in, they were indeed. With his contract now run out in Nice, he then has decided to uh, sign for Luton Town on a free transfer for the year and what a sign it's going to be. I feel Ross Barkley was one of them players, as I was growing up watching him, and it was a fantastic player. You could really tell his potential. Even when he was playing for England, you know, he made 33 appearances for England and he scored six goals as well during the 2013 to the 2019 period. And, you know, I, to be honest with you, I just felt he was probably handed slightly bad card in terms of, you know, went to Chelsea and it sort of went a bit sour from there, I think. Um, you know, reading into the into the backstories of it and everything like that, the controversy of taking a penalty when they were lost, stuff like that. I think, you know, the, the the best thing about it is he's only 29. So he's got so much potential still to go. If he can have a really good season with us this year and real prove himself back in the Premier League, we could then potentially sign him again next year on a further deal. If that is, hopefully that is in the contract that we would get first dibs and we would almost have to extend it. So then if we were to sell him, you know, we would get the, the benefit from it. But, you know, I think this year he's going to be a real, real good candidate for us because you've got Nakamba who, with the Premier League experience. You've then got Barkley who will have just, if not bigger, Premier League experience than obviously Nakamba. And they will then be looking after Chong in the middle and obviously Clark, Berry when they come on, Pelly. We've got Campbell as well. It's We've got so much midfield now. It's so good to be able to have a lot of competition in the middle. Obviously, Barkley... Hasn't had really a pre-season, so he's going to take a few weeks to get up and running. I'm sure he may feature in either the back end of the Brighton game or certainly come the Chelsea game where it's Chelsea away. So it'll be a good... So he may even be starting, but imagine that. Welcome back to the Premier League. Your first start at Chelsea, Stamford Bridge, against your former club or whatever like that. How good would that be for him? But yeah, I'm so excited for this. The talent that he has got, the videos that I've obviously overlaid on the screen... You can clearly see his ability. He'll he'll create something out of nothing. Just like we have with Nakamba, for instance. Nakamba, very much one of them people. You give him the ball, he always knows his spatial awareness, looks up, and he'll put the ball where he needs it. He plays the way he's facing, and it's really calm and collective on the ball. A lot of composure. Chong is one of them players, I feel, that is just going to be roaming around and you know get the ball, and he'll run with it, which is going to be great. And Barkley are very much similar to that. So If we've got sort of Barkley and Chong in front of Nakamba, Oh my God, what, like, passing out to Giles, passing out to Kabore on the right-hand side as well, cutting back in, one, two, sending down the wing, cross it in, Morris, oh, it's written in the stars, I can see it right now. How good will that be? I'm really excited, and hopefully, guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on that signing as well, because, yeah, I'm over the moon with it, and I can't believe they kept it so quiet as well. So, Ross, welcome to the club, and I look forward to seeing many games and many goals from yourself throughout the season. Whether you watch this video or not, I don't know. But I'm talking as if you are. So 
welcome to the club if you do like today's video please do drop us a like a sub and let us know in the comments exactly your thoughts and what you think the score is going to be on saturday